Today my little artist and I are learning about the three primary colors, which are yellow, red, and blue. My favorite book to use when learning about the three primary colors is White Rabbit's Color Book by Alan Baker. In this story, the character is a white rabbit and the white rabbit discovers some tubs of paint. So what the rabbit does is hops into each bucket of paint, starting with yellow, hopping into red, and discovering what happens when colors are mixed. Look when the rabbit turned orange. So what we're gonna be doing today is using our three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. We're gonna use the finger paints, and we're gonna be doing three different projects. One, which is more of the toddler level and just exploring what happens when you spread your paint and mix it and to see what colors happen when you mix the three primary colors. So here's an example of that. The next one is a little more advanced and also practicing rinsing your paintbrush when you are switching colors. So here we've made green, purple, and orange, but we started with the three primary colors. The third one turns out like this, which is a color wheel. And so you practice using the three primary colors red, blue, and yellow, and then you get purple, green, and orange. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape down the corners, just like this. We don't want our paper sliding around. Then what I do for my toddler, she is about one and a half, what we do is we talk about our paints, so we talk about the colors. So what we're gonna be using is blue, red, and yellow. And I usually let her point and pick out what color she needs more of so that she can be in more control of her picture. So let's start by squeezing a little bit of each color onto our paper. So we just added yellow and red. Now we're gonna add our blue. Then I just hand her the paintbrush and let her do as many brush strokes as she wants on her paper. I let her spread it out. I let her color mix. She can make as much of a mess as she wants. So what she'll usually start doing is she'll usually start with maybe one color and she'll just kind of start spreading it around like this. And then she'll start to work into another color and she goes in all directions. This is usually how my daughter explores her paints and we definitely encourage to do color mixing to see what happens and she loves spreading her paint around on her paper. I try to encourage her to fill in the white spaces. She'll usually say what color she wants more of. So she'll usually say blue and so then we do another drop of blue and I try to put it in a spot where there's no paint because otherwise it gets really, really thick and it takes a long time to dry. And then she'll start spreading out that color. Just like this. So this is usually what I expect from a toddler level. And it is a lot of fun. that? What color do we have? <laughs> Is this blue? Uh-oh. Do we gotta take this part off? Uh -oh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, grab another color. Now how about the last one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Ooh, what 
color is this one? Eee. Is it Whoa. red? Whoa. Red. Whoa. Brand new set of pants. <laughs> I know, we gotta get that off. You say off? Off. Oh. Uh-oh. Mmm, that was kind of fun when it did that, too, wasn't it? Okay, we have our paints. Now let's tape this down. Can you say tape? Tape. Tape. Oh, that was good. Okay, what color are we gonna start with? Red? Wow. Okay. You gonna help? Hop. Whoa! Whoa. Is that a lot? <laughs> I don't. How about this one? No. Yellow? No. <laughs> yeah. I know you got a little paint on your shirt. Mm. Yellow. What color is this one? Mm. Blue. Blue. Yeah. So what do we have here? We have the three primary colors. Okay, here's your paintbrush. Wow. We started with red. Wow. Is it beautiful? Ooh, a little bit of yellow. We need more yellow, I think, so we can make some orange. Wow, it's so beautiful. Blue. Can you say blue? Blue. Okay, I'm gonna put it on here. Oh, good, helping. Yellow. You almost made orange right here. Where should we put more red? Wow. Yeah. Should I put a dot of it right here? Oh, that was too much. That won't ever turn purple if we do too much red. Did you get some on your pants? That's okay because we use the washable paint. Okay, back to your paper. Ooh. Mm. It's beautiful. Wow! Wow. You say, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you all done? <laughs> Are you all done? More blue? Oh, it got on your arm. Uh-oh. That's okay. Are you all done painting? A little bit more yellow. Or do you want to keep painting? Okay. Wow. It's really nice. Are you all done? <laughs> Here is another way to use these same art materials to practice mixing the three primary colors. First, we're gonna tape down our paper so it's not sliding all around. Then 
Next, we're gonna take our three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and we're going to put a little bit of paint in each circle. Let's start with yellow. We're just gonna squeeze a little bit of yellow in there. Maybe a little bit more. There. For red, we're gonna just do a little bit of red. Not as much as the yellow. Hopefully not. Next, we're gonna put a little bit of blue in this top circle right here. Now the first skill that we're gonna be practicing is just holding our paintbrush nicely. Toddlers sometimes hold it like this, and that's fine too, um, but we wanna to try to hold it just like this. And then we are practicing spreading our paint in the circle, trying to use control to stay inside of the circle. It's okay if you go all the lines because we are practicing and just having fun spreading the paint around. There, we got lots of yellow in the circle. It's really fun to spread around and play with the paint. Next, we're gonna be practicing rinsing our paintbrush. So I have my little dish right here of clean water. We're gonna stir, I try to push my paintbrush down on the bottom a little bit. There, I check it to see, I got a little bit of paint on there still. And then gently wipe it right here. Now we're gonna spread out the red paint in this circle. Ooh, nice pretty red. Red like a rose. Beautiful. There, now we're, remember we're still practicing rinsing our paintbrush. That's another skill that we wanna have when we're doing art. Now we're wiping it off. Now we're gonna spread out the blue paint in this top circle. Beautiful. Wow, I love this color blue. Okay. Practicing rinsing our paintbrush so that we are ready for the next step. So right now we have the three primary colors on our paper red, yellow, and blue. Now you could just be done with this project if you want to, or you could take it to the next step, which is turning these into the secondary colors. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna try to make green. So we're gonna take our blue and we're gonna put a drop of blue in our yellow, and then we're gonna stir this together and we're gonna mix it. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make it green. Wow, it's already starting to change. And remember, it's okay if you go out of the lines. We're just having fun here and exploring paint and holding our paintbrush and spreading the paint, mixing the paint. Wow, that turned green when we mixed them. That's awesome. Okay, our next step, rinse, because if you read the book, White Rabbit's Color Book, you find out what happens if you mix all of these colors together at the same time. But I won't spoil the ending to the book. Now we're gonna try to make orange. Let's see if we can make that by mixing red and yellow. I did quite a bit of yellow paint because red is really powerful, so sometimes it's a little tricky to make orange. Ooh, it's already starting to turn orange. Wow, it's so nice. Orange like a pumpkin. Wow. That turned out awesome. Okay, time to rinse. Before we move on to our final secondary color, Okay, now we're gonna take red and we're gonna put a little bit in that blue and let's see what happens. Okay, let's stir it up and see. Okay, this one's taking a little bit longer to change because I told you that red is really powerful. Ooh, it's turning kind of purple. Beautiful. If there was a little bit more blue in it, it would turn even more purple. And that's something that you can do when you're working on an art project. You can always add, 
as you're working. Let's see what this does. Ooh, it made it a really nice purple when we added a little bit more blue to it. How much fun it is just to be mixing paint and spreading it around. You can change the way you do your brush strokes so you can see how it looks different. That is so much fun. Okay, that is the second way that we experiment with the three primary colors. Here is the third way that we're gonna be using our three primary colors to make secondary colors. First, we're gonna start by taping our paper down on the corner so it's not slipping and sliding. There. Now, we're gonna start with the three primary colors. So we're gonna take blue, put a little drop of blue. We're gonna take red, we're gonna do a little drop of red. And we're gonna take yellow. We're gonna put some yellow in the circle right there. Kind of like with the other project that we did. So we have blue, red, and yellow. Our first job is to spread out these colors inside these circles. So we're just focused on holding our paintbrush nicely. We're being nice to the paintbrush and not pressing too hard and we're just spreading that paint out inside the circle. Beautiful. Now remember, we're practicing rinsing our paintbrush too in between colors. So now we rinse, we do a swirl and a little wipe on the side. Now let's spread out our red paint. Beautiful. Oopsies, I went all the lines, that's okay. Wow, that is a really nice red. Then we stir. I sometimes push it to the bottom of the cup to get that extra paint out of the bristles. The bristles are right here on the paintbrush. These are called the bristles. Now let's spread our blue. Ooh, that's pretty. What a nice blue, like the ocean. There. Now we're gonna rinse and get ready to make our secondary colors. Now what we're gonna do is in between the red and the blue, we're going to make the secondary color that comes from mixing those two. So let's put a little bit of blue. And a little bit of red. Okay, let's see if we get a nice purple. Ooh, it's already starting to change. Wow. That kind of turned purple. It's a little bit more magenta. Let's add a little bit more blue to it. Let's see if we can get it to be a nice purple. Ooh, it's already changing to a nice purple. Beautiful. Now remember, it's okay if you go out of these lines because we're just practicing making these colors. They're more of a guideline. Beautiful purple. We can practice spreading it, using our paintbrush nicely, wow. Now we're going to make our next secondary color by mixing blue and yellow. Let's see what we get when that happens. Okay, we need a little bit of blue. And we need some yellow. Okay, let's mix these now and see what happens. Wow! Look at how it turned green. That's amazing. Green like the grass. Wow, that is really nice. Okay, 
time to rinse again. We do rinse, rinse. My water is getting really painty. Okay, we have a clean paintbrush now. We're gonna mix red and yellow in this circle. Let's see what we get. Mm, that was a little bit too much red. I don't want that much red in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit back. I don't want that much there. I'll use that red paint later. Now I'm gonna do a little bit rinse, just so I have a fresh brush again. There, now we're gonna do the yellow. Cause remember what I said about red, how powerful it is? It can really take over a color. Okay, let's make our orange now. We used more yellow than red to make this. Ooh, that is a nice orange. Let's get the rest of this mixed in here. Wow. Really nice orange. There, now we have our three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And we have our secondary colors, purple, green, and orange. And if you noticed, this actually makes a wheel. So we have completed an entire color wheel.